Hey, what's going on guys? It is your boy Hobo here today, and ladies and gentlemen, we are back today with week 5 predictions in the NFL's regular season. Just a bit of a heads up, my computer has broken, so I am without a computer for a while, and this comes at the worst possible time, right in the middle of the regular season, so I'm not going to be able to give you guys uh, prediction videos with... Uh, the gameplay in the background for a few weeks until I can get a new computer but for right now um, this is what we're going to be dealing with so please bear with me and uh, I promise I'll get you guys back some good quality prediction videos and good quality content here very soon but let's move on to the predictions we're going to start off with Thursday Night Football October 4th on Fox NFL Network and Amazon Prime Video it's the Indianapolis Colts at the New England Patriots. So the Colts, they, they've played a lot of football. or They played a lot of football last week against uh, Houston. And then they lost, and that sucks. And the, they had some questionable play calling there down the stretch. New England came out and silenced a lot of doubters by handily defeating uh, the, the then 3-0 Miami Dolphins. So I think the Patriots are going to win this game. And I don't think this game's going to be close. You know, everybody's going to be talking about, oh, it's Luck and Brady again, and Luck's finally healthy, and this game's a big game. But I don't think the Colts are good. I said that for weeks and weeks and weeks, and I, I will stick to my guns here. The Colts aren't a good team. They'll get beat by the Patriots. Next up, we're going to go to Sunday, October 7th, 1 p.m. on CBS. The Tennessee Titans take on the Buffalo Bills. The Bills have shown me nothing. They got shut out at Lambeau last week. And I think that the uh, Tennessee Titans will come away from this game with a big victory. Next, 1 p.m. Fox, it's the Atlanta Falcons and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Steelers' defense can't stop a nosebleed, and their offense has looked abysmal. And sure, they're going to face a Falcons team that has no defense to speak of. But I, I think that the Falcons' defense is at least a hair better than the Steelers' defense. And the Atlanta Falcons can put up points points excuse me, in bunches. So I like the Falcons in this game. I'll take them over the Steelers. Next up on CBS, the Broncos at the Jets. The Broncos just lost a heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking game against Kansas City. And the Jets, well, they're the Jets. And I think the Broncos offense is really good. And I think that they're good enough, anyway, to beat the Jets in this game. So I'll take the Broncos. And, uh, you know, I kind of feel bad for Jets fans. They draft a good quarterback, but their team still sucks. <laughs> I hope that they get better. I really do. But I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna pick the Broncos in confidence. Next up on CBS, it's the Jaguars. It's the Chiefs. So the Jags defense has been very good this year. The Chiefs defense has been very porous this year. The Jags offense has been hit or miss. The Chiefs offense has been lights out. So. All things considered, I think this game will be close. I think it'll be pretty close. But I think the Chiefs will be able to edge this one out. And they're going to go to 5-0. and Undefeated on the young season. And the Jaguars are going to be in a very precarious position. I think that they'll be 2-3 uh, and three if my prediction comes true. So I'm going to take the Chiefs in this game. And it's going uh, to be a real fun one on Sunday afternoon. Next up on Fox, the Packers take on the Lions. And the Lions look like junk. And let's be honest. Their, their one win this year comes against the Patriots, and that's fine and all. But, I mean, Matt Patricia really knew how to beat <laughs> Bill Belichick in the, in the Patriots. So you kind of put an asterisk next to that. Well, I mean, not really, but I do anyway. And the, uh, the Packers have looked pretty good, even without a, a fully healthy Aaron Rodgers. So i got to take the Packers in this game because I, I just can't not choose Aaron Rodgers in a slugfest with Matt Stafford. Next up on CBS, it's the Ravens at the Browns. Ravens came away with a very impressive win against the, the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday night. Their defense looked very good. Their offense looked good enough. But I, I still really like the Browns. I like their defense. I really like their offense. And uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this game to the Browns. I'm gonna give them the edge. It's probably not the smart pick, but I like Baker Mayfield. I like that offense. I'll, I'll stick with the Cleveland Browns in this game. Next up on Fox, the Giants and the Panthers. 
So the Panthers are coming off a bye. I, I, I've said that, uh, for a few weeks that they haven't really shown me anything good, t- too terribly good or too terribly bad, and they're very hit and miss. But the Giants have a, a pretty good defense, surprisingly, you know, all things considered. But their offense is just trash. So I have to take the Panthers in this game, and I, I, it hurts to say it, but i got to take the Panthers. I, I just don't see a way the Giants offense can fix their woes unless the guy wearing 10 gets benched. Next up on CBS, it's the Dolphins. It's the Bengals. So the Dolphins are three and one, and they're reeling right now. And the Bengals are fire. They are hot fire. They're on fire, and they will continue to roll. And I think they'll steamroll over the Dolphins. And the Dolphins fans will be wondering how they started three and zero and are now three and two. So uh, it's going to be an interesting stretch here for the Miami for the Miami Dolphins, excuse me. But I like the Bengals in this game and I'll take them. Also get well, Tyler Eifert. Next up, for all five PM on CBS, it's the Raiders and the Chargers. So this game's kinda difficult to pick. The Chargers I think are a really, really well rounded team, but they haven't quite found their groove yet. And the Raiders are just they're they're bad. And I know that they beat the Browns last week, but they're bad. And I don't know how anybody can say they're not unless you're a Raiders fan. But I, I like the Chargers in this game. I'm going to go with them. I just think that they're overall the better team going into this, this game late Sunday afternoon. So I'll take the Chargers, but really it's a toss-up. Next up, 425 on Fox. The Cardinals, the 49ers. So this game's going to be interesting. The 49ers played well last week despite being Jimmy Garoppolis. And the Cardinals are just garbage. You know what? Now that I just broke that down in my head, I, I'm going to pick the 49ers in this game. With C.J. Beathard versus Josh Rosen, I'm going to take the 49ers. And indeed, it is a very, very interesting pick. And I'll actually put this game as my upset for the week. Next up, it'll be the Vikings at the Eagles rematch of the NFC Championship game. Can Kirk Cousins prevent another uh, disaster in Philadelphia like what Case Keenum had last year? I think yes. I think the answer is yes. I think the Vikings will walk in to the land of Philadelphia. And I think that this game will be a powerful, you know, duel in, of, of two juggernauts in the NFC. But I think that the Vikings edge out the Eagles... I think they barely get the win here, and uh, it's, it's, you know, the balance of power in the NFC is kind of in a flux state right now. Nobody's really ahead of the pack unless your name's, unless your name is the LA Rams, excuse me, and in the AFC it's the same way unless you're the Kansas City Chiefs at the moment anyway, but yeah, I, I like the Vikings in this game. The Eagles are a good team, but I think Wentz is still trying to find his stride coming back from that ACL. I think the Vikings defense will be uh, just too much for Carson Wentz to handle in this game. 425 Fox again. It's the Rams. It's the Seahawks. The Seahawks have looked okay for their their two wins on the year. But they're still a below average team. And the Rams, the Hollywood Rams, they're on fire. Like no other team I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to pick the Rams in this game. And there's, there's no way you can convince me otherwise. 8.20 8.20 p.m. on NBC, the Dallas Cowboys get a primetime showdown with the Houston Texans. Sunday Night Football, the lights are on bright. It's one of my favorite rivalries in the league. The Cowboys, Texans, Dak Prescott, Deshaun Watson. And just virtue of the quarterback, or just by virtue of the quarterbacks in this game, I'm going to pick the Texans. I think Deshaun Watson is a much better quarterback than uh, what's-his-face in Dallas with who uh who's their running back i don't even remember but the texans i really like them i think will fuller deandre hopkins see here's the thing when your cowboys offense has one weapon and he wears number 21 is in the backfield but the texans offense has three weapons one's a quarterback and two are wide receivers that's very deadly and the cowboys defense i still presume is a underrated group, or excuse me, overrated group. I didn't mean to say that. That made me sound stupid. But uh, I don't like the Cowboys in this game. I think the Texans' offense will be just too overbearing. I think the Texans will come away with their second straight win, and they'll send the Cowboys in a tailspin. Monday, 
October 8th, 8.15 p.m. ESPN. It's the Redskins at the Saints. Saints, Drew Brees, chasing history. He's 200 some odd yards away from being the all-time NFL passing leader. Can he do that against the number two ranked pass defense in the NFL? Coming off a bye week, it's going to be a very, very tough game. And it's probably going to end up being a high-scoring game. And with that being said, I think Breeze will get the record. He'll break Manning, Peyton Manning's record. And this game is going to be fun. Alex Smith, Drew Brees in a showdown in the Superdome. But I think it's going to come down to the Saints defense making a big play. And I'm going to take the Saints in this game. They'll go to 4-1. and one. The Redskins will drop to 2-2. Two two. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like half out of breath. I don't know why. It's been a long day. But, uh, yeah, I hope to, like I mentioned earlier in the video, once I get my new computer, start putting out some great stuff for you guys. So I can't wait. I'm very excited. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as best as, you know, it, it could be enjoyed. And uh, I will catch you guys next week for week six predictions. That's going to do it for me, your boy Hobo. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.